Today, New Orleans Police Department Superintendent Michael Harrison talked about the city ending 2014 with 150 murders. According to a spokesman for the city, that's the lowest number of murders in New Orleans since 1971. Harrison says that shows that Mayor Mitch Landrews' NOLA for Life initiative is helping reduce those numbers. We feel pretty confident that the NOLA for Life murder reduction strategy is working and that we're seeing a reduction in the number of gang and gang member involved murders. The 150 murders in 2014 is a decrease over the last three years that saw the number of murders fall to 199 in 2012 and then to 155 murders in 2013. LSU School of Public Health professor and criminologist Peter Scharf says the 4% decrease is welcomed. I think that it's good that the murder total is less than last year. The real question is 2015, where is this going? While the number of murders dropped in 2014, the number of non-fatal shootings were up according to numbers from the NOPD with 398 shooting victims compared to 322 in 2013. And that's the troubling number. You know, either we've had a major medical miracle Right, or... You're saving people, right? Right, I mean, the hospitals are getting a lot better. I don't think it's that. So, you know, what's going on out there? Harrison says that has a lot to do with the NOPD's manpower issues and how they use their resources to put more officers in hotspot areas where violent crimes are happening. He says for 2015, they'll be putting 100 brand new police cars on the street and they have a new class of recruits coming out to help prevent those crimes from happening. So right now we're responding to them, but what we want to do as we grow, and we're growing now, is to be able to prevent those. Professor Peter Scharf says he thinks the city has done a good job, but needs to continue to reevaluate themselves to stay ahead of the amount of murders in the city. In some ways, I think they need a systematic review of what they've done, what are the outputs, and what are the results, and then work back from there. And Harrison says the increase of non-fatal shootings are just as important as reducing the number of murders in the city. Those shootings are, are, are dangerous and violent crimes. They're committed by dangerous and violent offenders. And so we want to go after them with everything that we have and we will pursue them relentlessly.